Hey guys and welcome to the Sonic Hack Showcase Q&A Special Answers video. Now I know I made the original Q&A video about two months ago or so. It has taken me a while to get to this point, but here I am, ready to answer some of these questions. Now I apologise in advance if one of the questions that you asked, if you remember, is not one of the ones that actually get said in the video. I'm going to try keeping this short to some of the more important questions I see through the many pages I got. In all honesty, I got like 76 comments on this video, which is more than I thought I was going to get, but I should have guessed considering a lot of people seem to like the series. Anyway, it's going to be more of a casual thing. Um, so I'm going to go through my comments in reverse order and just pick out the ones that I think are worth mentioning, really. That's probably the best way for me to do it. Okay, first question is, are you still working on your own Sonic hack? Now, unfortunately, this isn't a definite answer, but yes, I am working on the hack, but no, because I'm only doing it in my free time, and getting a lot of free time nowadays is actually very hard, especially since I want to try making videos a lot more, as well as work and playing games with friends, so it's hard to find time to actually dedicate myself to work on the thing, especially when I'm at a point where I'm kind of stuck. But we'll see, I'll hopefully be able to continue it. Uh, I've done a lot more than the video that I last showed off um, has shown. So maybe I'll show it off at some point, but uh, I will try and get back to it as soon as possible. Okay, second question was, uh, what are your most underrated and overrated games in the Sonic series? Now this one is purely personal preference here, a personal opinion, so naturally someone's probably going to disagree with me, um, but the most overrated game in the series for me is Sonic Adventure 2. However much I love the game, it's not as perfect as people say. And uh, the most underrated game is actually Sonic CD. Until I played the uh, Xbox Live version, um, that game originally was completely unknown to me. And it's awesome! I love it! Mind you, I've also heard that the physics engine changed for the Xbox Live version, so if you have a chance to play the downloadable version, uh, then definitely play that one, because it's awesome. Third question is, um, well, my answer's a bit of a cop-out here. Uh, so far, what's your favourite hack and what's your least favourite hack? Now, this is actually very hard for me to answer, and so I'm not going to, purely because I don't really pick favourites. It's kind of a habit of mine when it comes to anything. I find myself not picking favourites out of a line of things, because I just enjoy playing the damn things and, to begin with. Um, least favourite hack? It was probably Loco at the time, purely because it was completely ear-raping and I didn't know what the hell was going on, to be honest. But, again, that's just at the time. I mean, for all I know, the creator could have improved tons of stuff. So, it's really relative. <laughs> it's hard to say. That's why I don't like answering those kind of questions, though. Question number four is, would you ever consider doing a Sonic fan game showcase? Ah, someone hasn't been paying attention. <laughs> yes, I very much intend to, to the point where I've announced it already. So, yes, I definitely will. Question number five. Why do you need to make this a limited episode series in the first place? Why can't it be continuous? Well, I'd love it to be continuous, but to be all honest here, the content is rather limited, and the creators need time to make more content. Without content, there's no show, so there'd be no point. Not to mention, I also need a break to do other things. I find myself uh, wanting to make other videos rather than just the Sonic Hack Showcase, so if I were to do them all the time, it would kind of die out for me, so it would make the series not worth watching. That's why I like to take breaks and have a series, because that way it gives the hackers a chance to do their thing and catch up and get ready for the new series, and it gives me a chance to have a break and be ready to see what's fresh and new when it comes out. So question six is a mixture of three questions, all relatively similar. The first one being, would you ever consider showing any hacks of Game Gear and Master System Sonic games? And uh, I would, if there was any real game-changing content to it, like anything worth showing. Um, I don't like character swaps, so to speak. A lot of people ask me why I haven't shown off, like, Amy in Sonic 2, and it's just like, okay, it's Amy in Sonic 2, what's to really show off? 
But if they actually did some really cool changes, then maybe. I haven't actually explored Master System packs at all, so, you know, I could be completely missing something really awesome, but who knows. Uh, in the showcase, we rarely see Sonic 3 and Knuckles hacks. Which one would you recommend and why? The reason you rarely see them is because they're a lot more complicated to hack. Although, so I, that's kind of what I figured out uh, going along with doing my own stuff, is that people much prefer to uh, hack Sonic 1 and 2, and then if they want a feature from Sonic and Knuckles, they'll just kind of take it from the assembly, from the disassembly and put it into uh, the originals. Uh, probably because they're a lot more format, a lot more just simple. Whereas Sonic 3 and Knuckles, for example, that has billions of levels and all sorts of different things you can do with it. So it's probably not worth the hassle. And then the third part of that one is going to be, are you looking uh, at hacks? Am I just looking at hacks for Sonic 1, 2, 3 and Sonic and Knuckles? Uh, or will I be looking at other hacks? Now, that's an interesting question, because I might be looking at more recent game hacks. Um... But I'm not going to go into much detail yet until I can confirm something. So keep an eye out for that because that might be interesting. Question number seven is, are there any hacks you eventually plan on Let's Play? It doesn't have to be an all Emeralds LP if that helps. Well, that does help, but still. Um, my original plan for the Sonic Hack Showcase, um, and this was the first series, was that I was going to show off a bunch of hacks and at the end of the series, I was going to ask the audience to pick one of the hacks I showed off and I'd do a full let's play uh, from start to finish depending on how complete the hack was obviously. And I still plan on doing this actually at some point, uh, picking one of the hacks and basically doing a full walkthrough of it essentially just because you know they're fun to do. Uh, definitely not going to do Omo Chow so you can uh, ignore that idea straight away. Unless someone pays me a million billion somethings. But yes, I might consider doing a let's play of one of the hacks at some point. Question 8. Would you like to see some hacks of the Sonic Advance titles or even Sonic Rush once the tools were available? Hell yes! I'd love to see stuff from Sonic Rush in Advance. That'd be awesome! I imagine you'd be able to do some pretty damn neat stuff if you knew how to. Question number nine. Since I don't see this question, and I'm curious, what is your most hated character from the Sonic universe? Amy! Oh my god, Amy! Pink bitch Amy! I don't care that people preferred her in the Sonic CD version where she was more likeable because still it's turned into what I see today and that's the version in Unleashed and the cartoon series and everything. She's such a goddamn annoying... <laughs> Not a big fan of Silver either. That's another whiny bitch right there, but for whole different reasons. Question number 10. I'd like to play these hacks. How can I play them and where can I get the software to do so? Well, you need two things. First of all, you need a Genesis or Mega Drive emulator, which can be found by Google. Google is your friend in these kind of things. I will not be linking to anywhere where you can get them, unfortunately. As for the hacks, most of the time, I will be linking the hack in question in the video it's showing. But I have had many people saying that the hack links aren't working anymore. Easy fix to that is go to the Sonic Research Forum and find it your goddamn self. Because more people need to go to that site, it's very interesting, and that's where all the hacks that I review are pretty much kept. But to play them, it's as simple as getting the emulator, getting the ROM, and then opening the ROM with the emulator. And then, bam, you're going. Question 11 is a little bit confusing. What do you like in Sonic Hacks in all? We know you love design, but what else tells you it's a good Sonic hack? I don't think the guy understands what my videos are about. I mean, I do think I know where he's coming from when he says design. I think he means how much I comment on the art. And yes, I am a very arty person, so having good art is very much an important thing to me. But I do usually comment on level design and character choices when it comes to the added moves. But there's not really that much else you can say or look into a Sonic hack. It's what they've added. So what tells me if it's a good Sonic hack is if they've dedicated time to doing it into changing the art style, the level layout, and the way Sonic works. You can't really do a lot more to it. Unless you're Marky Jester, then you're just a god. 
Question number 12. Do you think that Sonic hacks are running out of ideas? Are there really any unique ideas you'd like to see in a hack? So my answer to the original question, if the if Sonic hacks are running out of ideas, I definitely think not, purely because of the way the imagination works in the human brain can be so obscure and so weird that you've definitely not explored anywhere near the limitations. Uh, yes, you're obviously limited by the Genesis hardware and what you can do to a Sonic hack, but again, I'm going to be tooting this guy's horn, Jester definitely shows that a bit of imagination and a bit of workaround can actually make something very unique come out with uh, Robotnik's Creature Capture, for example. Not much of a change, but when you make that little change, oh man, that can make a big difference. And the thing is, people can think of all sorts of things, they just gotta try and implement them, that's the hard part. So the hacking community hasn't run out of ideas, but they may have run out of ways to implement them into the actual hack. Question number 13. Are there any My Little Pony hacks in Sonic 1, 2, or 3 and Knuckles? Yes. Question number 14. Are there any hacks that you couldn't access that you'd like to tell us about? Oh god yes! There's a huge update to Mega Mix I'd love to show off, but unfortunately I don't have the access to as well as a huge update to the S-Factor. Oh man, I'd love to show that hack off. That looks so good now. And Silver doesn't suck! Dun dun dun! Question number 15, I think. <laughs> Why do you like Sonic the Hedgehog? That's a very simple question. Why do I like Sonic the Hedgehog? Purely because I grew up with him. He was a huge part of my childhood growing up to where I am now. And so he has become embedded in my very being as a thing that I used to spend countless hours as a child just playing and enjoying the games. And it's funny because I originally only did the Sonic Hat Showcase purely because I originally was going to see what other people were doing and everyone was playing Mario hacks, Mario Kaizo, and all these fucking I don't even know. But I thought to myself, there's not that many videos about Sonic hacks. So I did a, a small video on a Sonic hack and people were like, hey, this is cool, are there any more? So I started the hack showcase and all of a sudden, I became a guy who apparently really likes Sonic. <laughs> so I think that's covered most of the important ones. There were a bunch more, obviously. And of course, if I didn't answer your question, you're more than welcome to ask me in a YouTube message or something along those lines. Of course, if I did answer them all in a video, uh, considering I only made it up to 15 and I'm already 13 minutes in, that would be a long video. So, thank you for listening to the q and I'm going to round this up with a common question that I get asked. Will there be a fourth series of the Sonic Hack Showcase? My answer is pretty much yes. There will be a fourth series, although that will all depend on um, the hackers, really. When will the Sonic Fan Showcase begin? Well, as soon as this video is uploaded, I'll probably begin working on the first video. So, um, hopefully quite soon. And I'm going to say hopefully because I can't promise anything. And so that was the Sonic Hack Showcase Q&A special. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed the series. And I'll see you on the next series, may it be the Fan Showcase or Series 4. I'm Mega G Wolf, and thank you for listening.